And meanwhile here tonight, there's still confusion over who exactly can get the booster shot these days. And tonight, McKenna King cutting through the clutter of the details and getting to the point of who, when, and how you can get your shot. Two weeks ago, the CDC signed off on booster shot recommendations, allowing eligible vaccine recipients to choose whatever booster shot they want, regardless of their original shot. But many of you still have questions about whether or not you're eligible and what booster shot would provide the greatest antibody response. USF Health's Dr. Michael Tang is here to answer those questions. Let's start with Johnson & Johnson. If that was your original shot, are you eligible for a booster? If you're a J&J vaccine recipient, and you're two months past that time that you got the vaccine, you can go get a booster. You can get any booster you want. In that case, what booster shot should you get? My personal opinion is that if you boost with an mRNA vaccine after having gotten the J&J, I think you're going to be in better shape. A recent National Institutes of Health study showed that boosting the J&J shot with an mRNA-based vaccine provided greater immune response than with a J&J booster. I think the reason that there's a difference in you know, J&J plus mRNA being better than a J&J &J with a second dose of J&J is just because it's uh, presented to your uh, immune system in a little bit different manner. Now, when it comes to the mRNA-based vaccines, Moderna or Pfizer, who should get a booster in those cases? Now, these categories are really broad, right? This is above 65, or if you have a medical risk for high, you know, severe COVID, or if you have an occupational risk. And it needs to be six months after your second shot. Dr. Tang says even without a booster, you're still much better protected than without a vaccine at all. But the additional booster shot will just greater prevent the possibility of breakthrough cases. McKenna King, ABC Action News.